About $10,000 worth of property is recovered after a five-month-long string of burglaries in LaFleur County. 5 News reporter Amy Slanchik has more from homeowners who were victimized. Patricia and Orville Howry just moved to Pecola from Texas this year. They came home one day in November to learn someone broke into their home on Love Street. Our back door had been Jimmy open. The couple quickly discovered their laptop, jewelry, and even medication were gone. But something else was missing that wasn't worth very much money. They had to take my ba banana bread, though, you know, a loaf of it. Besides, soup. I tell you, they must have been some hungry rattles, huh? They aren't the only ones who were stolen from. Police say two women who are now in custody went to several homes on the same street. These laptops, cameras, jewelry, and silver spoons are just some of the stolen property. Police say there's another room full of twice as much stuff that still needs to be identified by the owners. Talking to some of my victims, there was a couple houses, one in particular that was broken into twice within, within a couple months. And, and that, that creates a fear when, when you're victimized like that, a fear of going home. And while the Howries say they'll be getting their laptop back, other items like Patricia's mother's ring, a diamond necklace, and earrings were not recovered. That stuff meant a lot to us. It'll never be replaced. Still puzzled as to why the pair of thieves decided to take her food, Patricia baked police a couple of loaves of banana bread to thank them for their work. Who would take my banana bread? They, didn't, they don't even know I baked banana bread. In Pecola, Amy Slanchik, 5 News. Police are not releasing the names of the two women arrested in connection with the burglaries because this case is still ongoing. They are in the LaFleur County Detention Center.